Good morning everyone. So today we're here in Coron. It's probably the second most popular tourist attraction behind El Nido. And once again we're going to be doing the island hopping because that's the main thing to do here. Here it's going to be like uh, 1,300 pesos each which is just around $25. But on this one we also get a kayak included so we're going to be doing a bit of kayaking. So right now we're just going to go and grab some breakfast. It's like 7am and then we're going to do the tour at like 8. So this is the tour company, Aldino Travel and Tours. So we are actually in the town of Koran now and the place that we're going is called Koran Island, which is a separate island. You can see it's that island in the background there. So we're heading there now. So our first stop here is CYC Beach and this is going to be two stops in one because there's also a reef out there that we're going to go snorkeling in and yeah you get the beach. So this isn't Coron Island yet but yeah it's just a really nice beach either way. So you can see here look super white sand, beautiful turquoise, crystal clear water and the reef we're going to head to is over there. A lot of sea urchins in this place, so you gotta watch out. It's a pretty cool fish, though. What is it? Trash. That's it, guys. Don't be an asshole. Lots of sea urchins, right? Gotta watch out. Alright, now we've got a Chinese shipwreck from the 1950s and we're going to be able to stay here for about 40 minutes and now we're actually on Korong Island so you can see this is how it looks similar to El Nido like with the, the limestone rocks but it seems to have like a lot more trees and stuff anyway let's check out the shipwreck Alright, we've come on top of this like bamboo platform. So this place is awesome man, it's like some amazing snorkeling. So many fish and just extremely beautiful. Here we got this cool little swing here. I mean look at that water though. That is insane. Crazy. Can I kick you a bit? <laughs> Beautiful. A little hammock here as well. Over there, a little bamboo platform. Unreal. called 
Twin Lagoon. Some amazing limestone formations there. So it's called Twin Lagoon obviously because it's two lagoons. I think we're in one of them right now and we just head into the second one. <laughs> just gotta climb this thing. And I guess here is the second lagoon. Just jump, Carol. <laughs> Let's go. Guys, check this out. This is the Filipino Wonderland. One thing that I'm liking as well is that none of these places have been that crowded, so it's really nice. Unlike El Nido. What do you think, Carol? Yeah, I love it. It's incredible, isn't it? Unreal. Whoa. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna head back to the boat now and get some drone shots, because this place must just look magical from above. Chasing a dream. Now come to Kayangan Lake. Just gotta go up um, 375 steps to get there. All right, here it is. So we're gonna dive in the lake now. So peaceful here. This is one of the things that I've liked about this Coronto compared to the El Nido one. Not many people here at all. And the water's just, yeah, unbelievable. Ready to jump in? I think we need it after all those stairs, right? <laughs> so in case you're wondering why we've got our life jackets on in this place and Twin Lakes, you have to wear them because apparently two tourists drowned or something a year ago, something like that, so that's why. There's no fish here really, but um, yeah, if you bring snorkel gear, you can at least see like the limestone rocks beneath the beneath the water, so that's pretty cool. And here is actually like a legit lake; it's not um, salt water. I thought it was going to be salt water, but it's not, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, just a very good place to be lazy. What? You tasted the water. So did you? How did you know? <laughs> we both tasted it. <laughs> we found a cave. <laughs> Those who go in never leave. <laughs> the point of no return. Whoa. No, nobody mentioned about this, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is cool. <laughs> He survived. I think we got lucky that we got here earlier, right? Yeah, now it's getting crowded. Look at all these people now. 
Still cool though. So we've come to a really famous snorkeling spot called Siete Picados, Seven Sins. I think this is our last stop of the day, so yeah, we're gonna get this last final snorkeling session. I'm back at our hostel now, so I didn't film anymore after Siete Picados, that was basically the end of the tour anyway. And I just had a lot of stuff to organize because we're going to be leaving here. We're going to be leaving Coron and heading to Puerto Princesa by ferry tomorrow, early in the morning. So I had a few things to organize with that. And um, yeah, it was just an amazing day. I think um, Coron is a must if you visit in Palawan. Probably this along with the island hopping that we did in Port Barton with the two best um, Island, hop island hopping trips that we did that I enjoyed the most. Like I said, the one today was just, um, yeah, it was kind of like relaxing and we seemed to get to all the places before the other companies, so we always had it to ourselves. So I don't know if that's because of the tour company that we did, that we did it with, Aldino. But uh, yeah, if you're heading to Corona and you want to do boat tours, maybe you should check that company out because that's how it ended up being for us anyway. So next up, like I said, we're going to Puerto Princesa and then we've got a flight, I think it was about $50, $60 per person flight to Cebu. Then from Cebu, we're gonna get a ferry to Bohol. I think that's how you pronounce it and that's where probably all the next videos are gonna be. That's what's coming up, it's gonna be a few days. But as always, drop a like if you like this video, subscribe if you like to see more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,